Hello everyone and welcome to another Art for Alzheimer's project video. Today we are going to be making some little curio jars. So to start with the project you're going to want to print off this template. It's free to do so, just use the link in the description and print off this picture of these two jars. Now to get started I colored in the two jars. This is optional. You totally don't have to do this, but I thought that it might give a more glass-like effect if I colored them in. just looks a little less plain. Um, I used pencil crayon to color them in, but of course this can be done with watercolor paint if you choose, or it can be done with crayon or marker, whatever you choose. Now after you've colored them in, you'll want to cut out each of the jars. After you've cut them out, grab a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock paper, any color of your choice, and then glue the jars onto the paper. So I've used a glue stick here. You can use um, you can use regular white glue as well for this. So at home, I keep a jar of just knickknacks and little bits and pieces, and I'll bring them into my groups and arrange them onto plates like this one that we see here. Um, it's really fun for clients to just dig through and see what kind of items are in there. So here I'm just showing you what kind of items I keep in the jars. I've got some little pom-poms, some coins, some shells and rocks. I've got a bottle cap there, some poker chips, buttons, some mechanical type things. So you'll see like a little key and some batteries and a screw. Um, there's also some beads and a bread clip. So it's pretty easy to make one of these little collections. Just grab a jar and add things that you find around the house to the jar. So I arranged some of the items onto a plate and grabbing some white glue. I'm just picking out pieces that are on the plate and then gluing them onto the jars on the paper. So there's different ways that you can glue the items onto the paper. I started out by putting dabs of glue onto the items themselves and then sticking them on to the jar. Some people prefer to do it this way, and then other people prefer to put the glue down onto the paper first and then add the items on top. So it's pretty straightforward, just keep gluing until the jars look like they've been filled up. Okay, and so here you can see finished project. Some fun little curio jars to admire. Thank you for joining me today. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe so that you can see other videos like this one.